All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pop smoke beat in FL Studio 20. Yeah, so if you don't know, he's on like the UK slash New York drill vibe with like the crazy 808 and hi-hat patterns and pianos and like all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to take you guys through today if I were to produce a beat for him. So let's go right into FL Studio. I'm going to open up the browser and bring out the stock piano plugin, not FL Keys. So go into Packs, go into Instruments, then go into Keyboard, Close Grand, right click, hit Open in New Channel. So now we have this beautiful piano right here. Shut the browser. Let's get a nice BPM. Um, it's usually like between like 130 to 145. It could be lower, it could be higher. But like for this video, let's go like 139 BPM, not 140, because we're on edge. Beautiful. Let's get a pattern going on. I'm gonna open up the piano roll and start laying out a dark chord progression. Keep in mind that this might be half time like one or two times. I always start with a minor chord. I'm gonna take the second note and shift it down one semitone. Let's do like an arpeggio of it, so. We start at the beginning that might be better mm -hmm. lift that up like let me turn on my mic row phone lift this up like one semitone so i just did a different chord um raise the top note and then also raise the top note of the arpeggiated notes and added this e right here Put that into the mixer into track one. So right click, hit route, select the channels to this track. Go to halftime. Let's put up an octave, hit control plus the up arrow. Go to halftime again. Up an octave again. Then I'm gonna take all these notes, shift plus drag, Go up an octave. And I want to hear that uh, that second chord. So we got to adjust the pattern to make it fit with the halftime. There we go. There we go. That's beautiful. All right, next. I'm going to go to Abbey Road Vinyl from Waves. Let's put on the noise slash crackle to it. I'm going to put the turntable mode on DJ and the cartridge on MC. Nice vinyl crackle right there. Also add the depth. So it's like warped up. Mess around with everything. Then I'm going to add an EQ to cut the top end off of the vinyl and also cut out the low end. For that 808, because you know the 808 got a hit. Let's add stereo separation to the piano. Then you already know for um, processing power, CPU purposes, I'm just gonna record that into Edison. Cut me off again. I had to turn my mic off for this, so I'm not in the recording. Cut out the excess. Don't need this anymore. Um, and let's label this piano. Put it in stretch mode. So I'll just put the piano in here. All right, put the piano in here, cut out the low end. So that's like half of the beat already, the piano part, but now I'm gonna get the drums and we're about to go crazy with it. So 
I'm gonna get a hi hat, a snare, another snare, an open hi hat, an 808, and a kick. I gotta get a thick 808. First step is the 808. So let me show you my trick. I put the trim all the way up right here to cut out any excess audio, as you can see right there. Go to the knob and then turn up the boost a good 3%. Actually, nah, let's go. It's a drill beat. Let's go 5% because we're going to be savage today. Go to envelope, turn the attack all the way down, turn the hold all the way up, turn the decay down, the sustain down, the release down. So now we can hold the 808 as long as we would like to. Now, you want to go into the piano roll and lay down the pattern. With the root note, of course. So our root note was C sharp. Try that all the way out. That's that drill 808. <laughs> go up an octave for now. And let's do our first slide note right here. So double click on the note. You want to slide. Hit this wave button. Hit accept. Zoom in here. I'm going to hold alt to take it off grid so I can slide it around like this. And then drag it back a little bit. There we go. So I can control how fast I want it to slide. Might do some octave work here. Like that, slide that, do a hard slide. Let's do two, two slides actually. So, three slides. But I want to slide. I'm going to drag this out. That's crazy. Run it back. Clone that pattern. Let's make a new one. This might sound crazy. Slide that. Actually, I kind of want to move, move everyone around here. Slide this. And that's our 808 pattern. So let's listen back to that. Snare time. Drill snares be kind of crazy. So it's not always like on the three and the seven count. Be like that. Let's do another one. Just like that. Then let's clone it and do a final pattern here at the end. Go into the velocity tab, lower this. All right, now for the snares, the second snare. One more of those. We're gonna do a snare roll. It's very tedious with the velocities with drill music, or at least for me. Because I'd be going crazy with velocity. It's unsteady, unpredictable energy. Drill music. Like it's all over the place where you would least expect it. Let's get some panning work in here too. Um, even, let's bring in filters, cut off filters. Bring in the hi-hat, which is gonna be very 
interesting. Let's just get the pattern first and then we'll worry about like rolls and stuff like that. Let's add some lower hitting notes. And like some hi-hat rolls in here. One sixth step, lower note, hi-hat roll right here. Sounds crazy. And you always gotta go, bro. You always gotta go crazy with it at the end, so. Grab the one third step, just go crazy. Drop those notes down. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this, but I'm about to go through the tedious process of changing the velocity of each and every one of these hi-hats. So after about three days and two hours, I got this. Open hi-hat, I'm just gonna put it on the one. Now we're gonna add the kick. Always check the polarity to make sure that it's right. That hits harder. Let's do a kick roll. Would you expect that? I don't think so. Actually, maybe you would. Hold up. Lower the velocity. Let's go crazy. But would you expect me to change the panic? That's sick. Don't even don't even tell me that's not crazy. Change the cutoff filter. Gotta do a triple hit somewhere. Hold up, I forgot. One of the most essential parts is the chime that I'm about to get. This dude. You layer that with a kick, the world is going to end. Then I'm gonna put it right here. But a trick, put the holds up like we did on the 808, take everything else down and like hold this out for only a specific amount. So let's go to a sh shorter, smaller grid. That's tight. All right, so now the ultimate trick about all this is take out the first two bars of the 808 and the kick, and then just let chaos go. And then just picture pop smoke on that. And yeah, that's about it. So that's how I would make a drill UK, New York, whatever you want to call it, type beat for an artist like pop smoke to just go crazy on. So remember, we got the dark piano with like plenty of halftime and vinyl effects on it. The 808, high octave notes, slide notes, snares, not on the normal hit time three seven two four count whatever it is and then the bouncy snare with like the snare rolls the velocity changes hi-hat with the velocity panning filter changes open hi-hat the chime and the kick and also take out the first two bars the 808 and the kick and then you end up with this Murder. Um, so thank you all for watching this is chambers from chambersmixedit.com go check out my sound kits if you need something mixed hit me up you need some beats hit me up my emails in the description my website's in the description in the comment section everything you need stay tuned for more content to come out pretty soon on the channel thank you all for the support and i will see you in the next video